Welcome to ricotta gnocchi and it's a very, very easy recipe. Let me show you. Right here in this bowl, we have one pound of ricotta. We have a three quarter cup of parmigiano, grated parmigiano. There's some salt and pepper and that's about it for now. We're gonna put a little bit of sage in this, although ricotta gnocchi can be plain, but you can add any herb that you like if you'd like to kind of bump up the taste a bit. So right here, I minced up some sage leaves and I'm just gonna add that in. So before we add our flour, let's just mix this all together. And now we're going to add our flour. Now the recipe calls for a cup and a quarter of flour, but I'm gonna go with a cup at a time. This is a half cup, cup measure, so I'm just gonna go with a cup at a time because you wanna just make sure you're not gonna put in too much flour. So try to get this to be all incorporated into the ricotta. I can still feel it's a little sticky, and that's why you need that other quarter cup of flour. So I'm gonna put in a little bit more. You know, this is a kind of really eyeball kind of recipe, but you can start with these measurements and get there, at least get started. But as you start doing this once or twice, you'll find that you'll have a feel for it and you'll know how much to put in. It's a very easy recipe and you're going to master it very quickly. And it's now a really nice consistency and I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna put some flour on the table here and I'm gonna reach in and get our dough. And it's really soft. Really lovely, lovely dough. Look at that. Isn't that nice? And you don't have to knead it like crazy. You just have to push it together so that it becomes like all one piece. And that's your gnocchi dough. Now I'm going to show you how to make the gnocchi. This is the fun part. This is the part where suddenly you're an adult and you're playing with play dough. But it's a great thing also to get the kids involved. So you've got your dough. It's beautiful, it's soft, it feels great. So all you want to do is just take a little piece off like that, okay? Might be a little sticky, that's okay. You're going to roll it into a log, just kind of shape it. Now on your work surface you want to have a little bit of flour, but not too much because you're going to roll this. With too much flour, the roll is just going to keep pushing away and it's not going to do what you want it to do. So I have a little bit of flour, but I might not even need it. So now I'm going to just use both of my hands and roll this out. I'm pressing and I'm moving my hands out at the same time. So to make this log get a little longer and a little thinner. If it breaks apart, then you have two pieces to work with, no problem. There's not too much you can do wrong with this recipe. So you just take a knife and you cut your gnocchi. So I'm cutting from the rope and I'm making these little pieces this big, okay? And once you have that, you get your gnocchi board. And you just press it lightly on the board, and you end up with these little lines that are grooves that hold the sauce better. And when you peel your finger away, you have a little imprint on the other side. And then you just lay them out on a floured sheet pan. But if you don't have a gnocchi board, a fork, just a regular dinner fork, can work because the tines act the same way as the glues in the wood. So you just use the back of the fork and you press the gnocchi against that and you'll get the same effect. So we're ready to boil our gnocchi. We have a pot of rapidly boiling water, and so now I'm gonna add some salt right before you put the gnocchi in, that's when you add the salt, okay? And don't be afraid to add salt, you want it to be almost like the ocean. All right, so I'm just gonna put in some salt, okay? And now I'm gonna take the gnocchi, and I'm gonna gently handle it a few at a time and throw it in there. You don't wanna mush them all up in your hand so that they stick together, okay? So just a few at a time. And till you get them all in there. They're gonna take like three minutes to cook. They cook really, really fast. And you can tell that they're done when they start to rise to the surface. 
I have a strainer that I'm gonna dip them out with. And this is actually something that I bought in Italy. It's called something for the gnocchi. It's the gnocchi strainer. So you can see its shape, it lets you get into the pot. So I'm just gonna lift them right out and put them in my serving bowl. Okay, so here's our sauce. This is a very simple sauce. It's just some grape tomatoes that I broke up with a little bit of water and a little bit of olive oil, some salt and pepper. They really cook for just about 10 minutes. We're just gonna pour this on top of our milk. Okay, stir it gently to coat. Add some sage that we put in the gnocchi, but now we're going to add some fresh basil too. And these come from my herb garden. I'm so excited to be growing herbs. So all I'm going to do is just pull off the leaves, just little rips of the leaves. So our last ingredient is just a nice little dusting of parmigiano. These are light and delicious. You'll want to eat this entire bowl.